Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to take you for a walk on H.A. Blaze Street and this is the street that runs behind the carronade because some of my subscribers were asking me about the other streets behind the carronade so that's what we're going to do today so let's go. So this is the start of H.A. Blaze Street, right there. To the left will take you down to the Carronage. And then to give you perspective of where I am, I am at Tantine at the moment. There's the Karaku mural and then that's the mural with the turtle. So that just gives you perspective of where I am. And so I will be going in this direction, up this road, along H.A. Blaze Street. Already, carnival time. Lots of people come up here because carnival comes down this road. Carnival makes its way down this road and carnival time there'd be hundreds of people gathered here and some people stand up here to observe what's going on down there. As you can see over there, it's the port and you can see all the containers. Ooh, let's keep moving in this direction. So this bit coming up should look familiar from my last vlog. This is where I started and I was showing you where you could stand to see the view of the carronade. And remember, I took you up these stairs and I said you could um, come up here and you can take a look at the carronade. Yeah, so we'll carry on along this road. Down there is the fire station and um, so that's the fire station and the police station from behind. Over there you've got the Grenada Tourist Board. A nice view of the carronade as well. Ahead, we have the Caribbean Coding Academy training and incubator program. Well, I didn't know there was a Caribbean Coding Academy, but I do now. As you walk along this bit here to the left, you see this wall. It's, the wall is actually very low, so you have to be careful not to trip and uh, fall over this wall, you know. <laughs> it's quite a low wall. And over here we have Mount Gay Rum. I'm not sure what's going on there, but I guess you could um, pick up some rum if you feel like it. People having a drink, maybe because it's a Saturday. It's a Saturday, so people are having a drink. And if we stop here and we can look at the carronage, you get a really nice view of the carronage from here. You can see the firemen's tower I guess that they practice on but you have some lovely houses along here including this one some of them do look very very old including this one here it looks like a traditional old house it says US aid on the side so it possibly belongs to a charity and then you've got this uh, what well, seems to be a derelict building. I don't want to get it wrong and say a building is derelict when it's not, you know. But that, that certainly looks like a derelict building. You get a nice view of the homes and businesses in the, in the, on the side of the hills as well from here. A really nice view. Afternoon. If I zoom in here, you can, you know, really pretty. So 
So here's an example of stairs that leads down to the carronage from this road. So if you are on the carronage, you can um, take the stairs up to this road. Yeah, I just wanted to wait for people to pass. I don't want people to think I'm just filming them. So there you see the carronage and then you can take the stairs up to the next yeah. level. So you can actually... So that's what you can do just there. And then we have that Art Deco building, Phoenix Cigarettes. And that is uh, that building from behind there. That's the Phoenix building there from behind. And then you can see parts of the carronage in the distance. Look at that building. It looks very, very old. You have some buildings here on the left that look derelict. So here is an example of stairs that goes up. And you know, I've always wanted to go up these stairs. I, I believe there's a villa up there. I don't know if the villa is occupied or whether it's derelict. I just found a lovely mural which is just here. As you can see, you can, there's evidence of some really old buildings along here. Yeah. So this is the Marichaux house. And what it says is, it says this structure was once the home of T. Albert Marichaux, better known as the father of the Federation. This West Indian statesman promoted the formation of one nation from all of the West Indies. Aside from its historical connections, Marichaux House is important in that it houses the local centre of the University of the West Indies as well as a small reference library and an active folk theatre. Let me make sure I pick up the Marichaux house again. Yeah, really beautiful building. The University of the West Indies. See where the road leads up there, quite a steep road. On the left you had the Gospel Hall. And remember I went to the Calavini Gospel Hall when I did that walk through Marianne. So this is another one of those Gospel Halls, you know, from the same family, I guess you could say. HG health, HG health Foods right there. So you can get lots of stuff in there. And then this road takes you down onto the carronage. It says live music every Friday, food and drink. Very colorfully decorated as well. Choco's Sports Bar and Grill. Chill out, it says. And there's that old building that has been derelict. 
since um, Hurricane Ivan. It looks like it used to be a really beautiful building once upon a time. This is where the walk gets a little bit tricky because um, it, it gets quite busy with traffic at this point. As you can see, there's a variety store on the right hand side there. empty building for rent or well, downstairs is empty anyway it says for rent I'm trying to remember what used to be there can't remember another one for rent here There's some space for sale on the right. What I'm going to do? Remaxgrenada.com. And to the left, you've got an old building here. see where they're doing building work on the left if you look at my last vlog you'll see it see that building from the front I guess this is an example of a Georgian building to the right okay, wait there. see this Georgian building there and up there To the left you have a beauty salon just there and as you look down there you can see going down onto the carronage. Traffic is quite heavy, you see the traffic's moving quite slowly down there. To the right you have a little restaurant called Nick's. Restaurant and bar, we serve breakfast and lunch daily. And then to the left, you have what I believe is a fairly old building. I'm going to get to the left hand side. This bit is tricky to cross because cars come from all directions at this point. And there you have where sometimes you'll find a policeman directing traffic from that box there. Oh, it's very quiet, so let me cross. Cars come from here. Oh no, this is where I'm going down here, Scott Street, because this takes us around the carronage. And look at this old building. And you have a little clothes shop. This is a clothes shop that would be easy to miss because not many people walk up and down this road, you see. As you can see, it's very narrow, very busy with cars. If you wanted to walk down to the carronage from this point, you can walk down here. That would take you down to the carronage. And here we have another derelict building.
Up here, if you want to, wanted to get your shoes repaired, you go there, it says Ja Pink Shoe Repairs Upstairs. So, for the record, this road is used at carnival time. So carnival will go along the carronage and then make a turn and come up this road and then go back down onto the carronage again. And look at this building up here. Wow. Clearly it's derelict, but look at the bushes and the leaves coming through the windows. Well, what used to be windows, I guess. Wow, that's lovely. So, yes, as you can see, it's very busy. To the left is, we're behind the nutmeg and we're behind food fair supermarket. So that's what's to the left. And to the right, you have like a variety store with lots of goods. And the road ahead of us is Young Street. That's where Scott Street ends on Young Street. And then to the left, you have the carronage. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, please leave a comment. Please give me a thumbs up and please check out the other videos on my channel too. And if you like what you see, please subscribe and I'll see you soon. Yeah. Good one.